Today, exactly one year after the murder of George Floyd, on the streets, urgency over police reform. Has enough changed? No, I don't think enough has changed. Can you believe it's been a year? It's been a whirlwind. <laughs> For Tara Brown and Sharita Tate, the loss of their cousin is still fresh. Our hearts are still broken because we'll never, we'll never have him again to be able to hug us or to talk to us. But we're optimistic that some things have changed as a result of his death. Among those changes, a murder conviction for the former officer who knelt on Floyd's neck for nine and a half minutes. But we haven't had meaningful police reform in 57 years in the federal government. Uh, and so this is our opportunity. Still, since Floyd's murder, there have been changes on a smaller scale. At least 3,000 policing-related bills have been introduced in state legislatures. More than 30 states have enacted new police oversight and reform laws. For some, not enough. What has changed in America? Nothing. Nothing has changed. We sat down with three women who now share an unwanted bond. George Floyd's younger sister, Bridget. They have got our hopes up on several occasions about what they were going to do. And we have yet to see anything happen. Alisa Charles Finley is the sister of Botham John, who died in 2018 when a white Dallas police officer mistakenly entered his apartment and shot him. She was convicted of murder. Has Congress moved quickly enough on police reform? No. Is that a broken promise to you? Of course it is. Gwen Carr is the mother of Eric Garner, who died in 2014 in New York City following a police chokehold. That officer was not charged. I would like the police officers to stop making more members of this club. This is a club that no one wants to be a part of. We live every day with this pain. Now, Minneapolis is a changed city. Even from a few weeks ago, before the guilty verdict, the barbed wire and the National Guard troops are gone. Derek Chauvin's sentencing is now scheduled for late next month, and the trial for the three other former officers involved in this case has been moved until next year, Hoda.